All right, good morning, guys. So it's day two here in Dubai. It is February 23rd, and we're gonna go take a look at two different developer offices. One is the very popular Danube, Danube Properties, and we're also gonna take a look and visit the Empire Development Sales Office as well. So I'm just heading to Palm Jumeirah. We're gonna meet my colleague, business uh, associate, Zulfer, and then from there, we're gonna carry on. So we'll, we'll touch back soon. Okay, and we're on Palm Jumeirah. And look at the, the landscape here. Okay guys, so we're here on our way heading towards downtown Dubai? Business Bay. Business Bay, okay. Next to downtown. Amazing. Uh, so but maybe you want to introduce yourself, what you do here. Obviously you work in real estate and a little bit, just brief bio. No pressure as well. <laughs> My name is Zul, Zul Fakar. I'm a Canadian based here in Dubai. I'm passionate about real estate. I'm the founder and chief editor of a real estate magazine which I published from Canada. It's Amazing. called REM and I'm the president uh, of a real estate brokerage over here which is a big uh, global brand in 80 countries with 100,000 agents. The way is about all about real estate. It's amazing. Yep. And I'm enjoying it. Amazing. And we're making our way today now to Empire Development in Business Bay. Our chairman is a good friend of mine and he knows cash very well. We're going to have lunch with him. Amazing. And check out what he's offering. Amazing. Oh, it's very busy. Yeah. It starts getting busy around 4 o'clock. Uh, today is a little early. It's Friday. So this weekend, yeah. tomorrow. I visit Dubai once a year, but I've never seen it this busy before. And I, th I think it's a positive sign. It is. This you know? is how I measure the real estate market. Right. And I see more traffic yeah. every day. Then yeah. I know real estate market is going up. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. I guess also this is peak season, right? Most people that visit That's Dubai, they come. That's the beautiful time. It's the beautiful true. time. Yeah. When does it start getting very hot here? What uh, month is it where, you know, temperatures start hitting? 40. From end of June. End of June? Okay. But we were just talking about locations in Dubai. So you mentioned to me that if as an investor, if someone has the capital, what would be your favorite or what would be your ideal location to invest in real estate? And I think you mentioned that uh, the marina is, is number yeah. one, right? Yeah. Dubai have many areas or pockets. Yeah. But my favorite is marina because marina is always uh, moving fast. Right. And uh, and the property is always cashable immediately if you place it in the market and the pricing range is also uh, sometime you get a deal below 1 million yeah. from 1 million to okay 100 million but the range is good also it's a more touristic area yeah good for short-term rental earning Airbnb yeah. yeah it's full of life lively I love it Marina I guess anything and this is a worldwide thing is that anything that's close to the water that's generally true. it's a better investment right that's what more appreciation like some common misconceptions that i sometimes get from canadians is that when you purchase a property here in dubai you don't own the land you lease the land can you touch upon upon this uh look look i'm canadian too and no that's that's not true over here freehold land means you own it 100% even if it's not 99 or 100 years leasehold okay it's a freehold area is 100% owned I personally own multiple properties and I'm, I'm comfortable in one amazing I see a lot of the new offices so the head office for the new do they have a specific head head location yeah so so it's off Sheikh Zayed Road, we just passed it. Okay. The new uh, properties in Dubai have only one office. Okay. Um, and an entire city, you see this, their billboards or signage. Even here, I see another building. Yes. So this is this is the Noob's properties head office. We are just passing. Oh, this is it. Like okay. This. And on the way back, we will stop by here. They also own uh, Empire Developments. They have a hotel, Park Regis Hotel. Yeah, that's where we go. Oh, that's where we're going. In yeah. Oh, okay. In, in that hotel, they have a sales office also. Okay. 
No, that's another thing. You know, we were looking for. We were stayed in Airbnb for the first few nights. Then we stayed in Atlantis, but it's hard to find Airbnbs. But that's also again a positive sign when you can't find Airbnbs or even some of the Airbnbs. The prices were so high. People are booking. People are booking yeah. Airbnbs. And because it's good weather, so it's yeah. The Airbnb, do you have to? Because when I spoke with the person who we rented from, he said you have to register the Airbnb with the uh, with the city. Yes. The government of Dubai, that's and then right. okay, so that's yeah. how it works here. So, so beside the Airbnb, there are lots of brokerage, real estate companies. They have a holiday home rental license. Right. So, so there, lots of them are offering better deals than Airbnb also. Right. That business is also moving here. Actually. Some people are focusing on it instead of doing a normal brokerage. Yep. They are just focusing on this uh, property management, holiday, holiday, holiday homes. homes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Even who we book through their yeah. holiday home company yeah. as well. So, so let's say you buy an apartment in Marina, then you give it to a company who has a holiday homes rental license. Yeah, and they will give you a higher rental earning than normal rental. Like a yearly if, rental, yeah. yeah. If you do it by yourself, you'll just get a normal tenant, but yep. uh, with them, it's a, a return is higher. Makes sense. One thing I like here when you go visit the sites, they have all the details of the project. Like it's the site, it's the side with Government of Dubai, mm -hmm. and then it has the architect, it has the zoning codes. It gives a credibility to exactly. the people. So, so there are very strict laws with the land department. Which is good for the investors and buyers. Yeah. yeah. Base 101 is also in Business Bay, correct? The... the That's correct. Yes. Okay. That's amazing location, actually. It's uh, very close to the metro station. Okay. And you will see on your right-hand side. Do you know exactly where the location is? Yes. The base? Actually, when, when you make a right turn, you okay. will see it on your left. Okay. Uh, and you will see the new Base 101 signage. Okay, amazing. When I sell based on knowledge to the client, I don't feel any, like I don't feel any, I'm doing anything wrong. I'm selling them knowledge based on facts mm -hmm. about a product. And if I strongly believe in the product, then I'm actually excited for the client because I know it's, it's going to be a good opportunity for them. Knowledge is the key. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I mean, there is so much information available online, but still, you need someone who has a focus. Otherwise, you get lost. Yeah. You go on online or on the net for searching properties in Dubai, you will get confused. You yeah. need someone. You need can. someone to guide you exactly. with that information. Exactly. No. Okay, so it's just over there, basically. Yeah. Basically, okay. So in in Business Bay, which we're looking at right now. The average price per square foot in dirhams, do we have a rough idea? Because I know the one bedroom for business bay is starting around seven to 800,000 Canadian. For Bayes 101, which is roughly about 1.6 to 1.7 million dirhams. Yes. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the price range. Okay. Bayes 101 is a high-end tower. It's a high-end product, yeah, okay. it's a high-end product, luxury product. Okay. A very good location, the nice view of uh, Burj Khalifa. Okay. So at the, at the New Year Eve, you can see the firework and very close to metro station, so. Obviously, like anywhere, in any, any part of the world, if you're gonna have a view of the city, the Burj Khalifa in this case, the yeah. fountain. It's a prime. It's a premium, right? Premium, yes. And absolutely. if you're going to be on a higher floor, it's also yes. a premium, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But I think Dubai real estate is still cheaper than many countries. Many, many countries. Cities, yes. Uh, recently, I was in Hong Kong and I had meetings with a few brokers there, and the average uh, or minimum price of an apartment over there, fifth between 15 to 30 million Hong Kong dollar. Wow. Wow, imagine if one who is living in Hong Kong sell his apartment <laughs> and come to Dubai, he can buy a decent apartment and still have lots of cash with him. Yeah, and still maintain a good quality of life. Yes, exactly. And then later on, I found actually lots of uh, people have done this already. Mm. And they migrated from Hong Kong to Dubai. Mm. 
And Hong Kong from Dubai in for a flight is not too far. Maybe four hours, five, or is it, is no, it further it's, out? No, it's not four hours. Oh. I believe it's it was six or six. Okay. Between six to seven hours. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was I was trying to see maybe oh. you know, if they still have family or friends, and it's not that big of a transit. Even if they come to Dubai and they still need to go back to Hong Kong, there's not a big gap in the distance. Mm. That's this is the thing about Dubai. If you live in Dubai, most of the cities and countries are six to seven hours. It's very hour. central. Yeah, yeah it's so central. central. Yeah. Only us in Canada, we're far away, <laughs> a 15 hour flight. People from the subcontinent, uh, it's, it's like yeah. one to two hours, you know. Yeah, no, it's a central hub for sure. And I think you get you get the best value in terms of square footage, you know, compared to other parts because in downtown Toronto, you're looking about $1,700 per square foot. Wow. It's yeah. Dubai is still way cheaper. It's still cheaper, Dubai. It's still cheaper. Yeah, it's still yeah. cheaper. Mind you, like you mentioned, if you're buying in Dubai Marina or yeah. you know these areas, there's gonna be a premium. Yeah. But I still think it's cheaper. Yeah. Empire Development. Okay, so Empire Developments owns this hotel. Amazing. Yeah. This is a five star hotel as well, I believe. Four and, and a half or five. Have a nice uh, sales office there. This is the hotel that's owned by Empire Developments for Empire States. I'm in, I'm in the lobby. This is for Park Regions Business Bay. And you can actually see their signage over there. And I'll show you guys the lobby. So this is the lobby for Park Regions Business Bay. Beautiful, beautiful hotel. This really just adds credibility to the builder. You know, it's a finished product that they have here. It's a fully finished, completed hotel. And they've created the sales office here, which is really, really cool. Uh, behind me, if you see over here, this is the showing the location essentially of where the building is coming. I actually paid a visit to the site. It's a great site, very central to everything, and it's a more prestige community. It's not like a very saturated neighborhood, maybe compared to other areas in Dubai. Uh, as you can see here, this is the main location, and this is the whole map. So it's very close to the Dubai Autodrome. It's very close to Dubai Land. They're building a future metro station here, which is going to give you great connectivity all around the Dubai vicinity and as you can see over here they have a lot of attractions the butterfly garden the miracle garden is just minutes away and then they have a medic clinic parkview hospital over here which is also very close to where the building is going to be and they have really good schools in the area as well so you can see here they have the Nord Anglia International School the Australian International School the Haige International School these are all big selling points when you're investing in property what is it close to? If you come over here, this is just the digital brochure showing all the amenities that they're going to provide you. We will have PDF copies of this so we can show this to you. But as you can see here, it's going to be a high quality, fin high quality finished product, branded lobby, smart elevators. This is the entrance to the building, sorry, the entrance to your parking. And if you want to look at all the amenities that they're going to give you, it's amazing. Pool lounge, kids pool, jacuzzi, waterfall, barbecue area. They have the cafe, the guest lounge, business center, sauna, steam room, gym. So you name it. They got everything here in this building. It's a fully finished product, high-end detailed product. You've created a lot of advertising here for this project. Now, one of the biggest selling points for this project is the payment plan. So when you're investing in Dubai as an international investor, a lot of times you have to put about 50% down, 50 to 80% during the construction phase, which is pretty aggressive. Canadians are not used to that. Canadians normally put down 10%, you know, 5 to 10, 15% on a condo pro project in, in, uh, in Canada. And then they wait for it to be ready. And then once it's ready, they take a mortgage for about 80% of the, of the price. Here, what they're doing is they're trying to help Canadians a little bit. So they're a allowing a payment plan where you're going to pay 56% during handover and then 44% during the post-construction. 
So that's great because when the project is ready, which is going to be end of 2026, not only are you going to make appreciation on the property, but secondly, you're going to be able to get a tenant in there if you want to rent it out. And uh, that tenant will be able to pay off the remaining 44%. So you're not, you're leveraging your capital. You're not putting a whole lot down versus, you know, buying a product through maybe the mock or Imar where you're obligated to put down 80% of your capital during construction. And then on closing, you have to pay the remaining 20%. So that's a huge, huge selling point, especially for Canadians. Normally, any property that you buy here, uh, once you put down 30 to 35%, you can assign the property. So I believe Empire Developments is also going to give you that option. That's great for investors if they want to buy, get into the market and flip. That's something that's a very common thing in Dubai. Right now, the market is hot and a lot of investors want to cash on it. So that's something you guys can also look into as well. Guys, I also wanted to show you the portfolio for Empire Developments, starting from their first building, which was built in 2018. I'm gonna flip the camera for you guys. So this is Palazzo Residence JVT. Sorry, it's a little bit covered over here. So that was one of their first projects in 2018. Fast forward, this is Palazzo Heights in JVC, Jumeirah Village Circle, which was built in 2020. If we go up here, this is Empire Residence, which is already up. The structure is ready for completion. Sorry, it's ready, it's almost completed essentially. And uh, this is slated for this year, 2024. Empire States is over there. That's the project that we're currently showcasing. And moving over here, this is their fifth project. And then they have another project coming in uh, Jumeirah Village Circle, which is gonna be their sixth project. And as you see, this is their group of companies. They have a few different sub-parent companies under the whole brand. And this is Ghani Holdings over here. And uh, we're gonna have Mustafa give us a little bit of a walkthrough of their new project, Empire States. Take it away. So, uh, right from here, that's actually the corner of the plot. Okay. Uh, you can see it intersects two streets, and that's the main road of Arjan. And from there, you can actually exit Arjan. Right? Amazing. So if you just flip around, here's the map, right? That's the plot itself, the street that runs the, here. And just to get out of Arjan, it's just very simple. You just take this road down and you're back onto the highway. Amazing. So around maybe two minutes to get to a highway. And again, very well connected. Yep. There's this metro station that's coming here. That's going to be right here. About Future five, Metro? Yeah. Future okay. Metro station, about five minute walk from, from the project itself. Again, this is just a big view of how the project, where it's located. Right. And you're about 15 minutes from the Dubai Marina, I That's believe? Right. 15 to 20 minutes from Marina. 20 minutes from downtown Dubai. 15 minutes from the Palm Jumeirah. From the Palm Jumeirah. Oh, sorry, from Palm Jumeirah. And okay. 25 minutes from Palm Jumeirah. Okay. And Amazing. minutes from Dubai Airport. Amazing. Wow, this is a beautiful building. Amazing. Okay. Uh, the entrance has a drop-off area for your clients or whoever comes to the building, you can get dropped off. And just when you get in, you just exit from here. And the whole like ground floor is parking. There's basement parking. Okay. From the first floor up is the residential units. Again, you can see around the whole project, there's a running track around the whole project. Oh, wow. Through the whole circumference of the project, there's a running track. Wow. And Very cool. This is our top tier product right here. It's called our Sky Villas, right? It's got a two bedroom duplex layout and it's got this massive pool and garden area on the outside. Wow. It's, it's basically a villa in, in the shape of an apartment. Very cool. And all the con all the buildings, they all have punch pools, or just yeah, some of them? All the apartments have punch pools. Look, this is a studio unit right here. Oh wow! So that's 450 square feet. That unit right there. But again, it also has a punch pool and a balcony. Wow! And this is a one bedroom unit right here. Okay. Just to give you an example, right? That's around 850 square feet. Around 850 square feet, and the plunge pool and the balcony. So every apartment comes in this configuration. Okay. Now, with a like for example, right? If I give you an example, this is a three bedroom right here. Right? Okay. This one's a three bedroom. You don't see a plunge pool, right? Right. But the plunge pool's on the top. Oh, That's a physical wow. pool with a garden on the roof. So they have a terrace essentially, a rooftop terrace. Yep. Very cool. And with these punch pools, um, I mean, they're obviously not big. They're not swimming pools. They're more of like a like a like a like a jacuzzi, like a jacuzzi type. Is there a way for them to be maintained throughout the year if they want to be? Yeah, so it's going to be. Yeah, so it's going to be. Uh, there's something called an annual maintenance contract that you can uh, get uh, get on board, and uh, that's basically going to be like cleaning, maintenance, anything that goes wrong. And this is towards the back side of the project right here. Okay. Um, that's our, what we call our hub, okay, right? or like our lounge area. You have business centers here. You have 
your uh, like lounge area, you have yep. guest, guest seating area. Literally everything you need is on this side of the project. Okay. And then we can go around to the front of the building. The wow, look at that, guys. Sorry. Look at that pool. Wow. This is a huge pool. For example, here we have the big community swimming pool. And on the back, we have the kids' play area. And at the back, we have the paddle, te uh, paddle tennis. Yep. Yeah. Paddle tennis, paddle court. Okay. Um, right there, I don't know if you can see, that's the barbecue area. Okay. And uh, there's a kids' pool here and the aqua lagoon on this side of the project, right? Okay. And parking is included, one parking yes. space, one all the units are included? Yes. Amazing. And then we have the rooftop gym right there. Oh, wow. Look at the gym. Amazing. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to have that see through yes. view. To, okay, yeah. amazing. Very cool. The building is eight levels total. What's the fact? Yes, so it's uh, seven floors. Okay. Plus the roof. Plus the roof, and the roof is accessible for people, or that's just like that's, a block. That's a part of. That's a part of the apartment. Oh, okay. Whoever has a do like a rooftop uh, cool. garden garden apartment, okay, they can access it because they have direct lift that goes up. Yep. But otherwise, it's blocked off because it's for services. Now, uh, maybe we can jump into the pricing. So, if yeah. you're looking for a one studio unit, what are we looking at in terms of square footage, and what are we looking at in terms of starting price points? So, for all the studios, you're starting at about 450 square feet, and the price point you're looking at 750,000 there plus. Um, for a one bed, your marks around 450, 500. 450, 500 for a one bedroom. Yeah, like and they would qualify for a silver visa that's if, correct if it's 750 yes. amazing yep. and uh, let's get into maybe the, one of the most attractive uh, you know features that you guys have with this is the payment plan yeah the plan is again a really exclusive payment plan where it's you can pay 20% a down payment percent okay and then it's 1% monthly for 80 months there's no bullet oh, payments wow. no interest no okay. hidden costs yeah that's exactly it the price of the unit divided by 80 months it's your payment plan you have to give up around 56 percent under construction remaining 44 percent is post handover that basically means is once you rent the unit yep the remaining 44 percent you can pay from your rent exactly you can get it rented out and yeah, yeah so you can leverage your capital uh, closing i mean occupancy i guess tentatively we're looking is 2020 december 2026 December 2026. So that's when the building will be completed okay. and uh, open for people to move in. And in this area in our John, what would someone expect when it comes to maintenance fees, chiller fees? All the fees mm -hmm. are, they start after you take op occupancy of the apartment. Okay. So you're looking at Iwa, which is your electricity and water, okay. which is equivalent to your Electra and your municipality water. Water, okay. Right? Okay. And then you have your chiller, okay. right, which is again, here you have like a cool water chiller system in okay. the, for the AC. Okay. So you have that. And then you also have your gas, right? Which is like your Enbridge. Yeah, Enbridge. Okay, right. got it. Okay, cool. And that's pretty much what you're looking at. And then your maintenance for your pools. Okay. And the housing uh, service charges. So got it. service charges are basically charges to maintain the whole building. Yep. And they're t calculated per square foot. So okay. you pay for how many square foot you own. So like, for example, studio. Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, the service charges are 15 dirhams per square foot, mm -hmm. which is about 5 CAD. Okay. Right? It would be about uh, 15 dirhams per square foot multiplied by 450. 450 and then divided by 12 to get your monthly. No, you would pay it quarterly, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so you have four payments. Four payments. Divided so if, by four. Divided by four. Got yeah. it. Okay. But your annual fee would be essentially. 50, around 15 denims per square foot yep. multiplied by the square footage yep. and that's what you're going to pay annually that's correct makes sense okay awesome Mustafa thank you so much of for course, the presentation This is Dubai Hills, wow. And if someone wants to purchase a villa aside from Damak Hills and Damak Lagoons, are there any other developers that are building villas yeah, in man. big, big communities? There's too many choices. Some are smaller townhouses, okay. some are big means. But it, 
Is the location all same within this area, like JVC or John? Or are there any villa communities close to downtown Dubai or no. maybe Dara? It's it all is, within it here. Is no land. The okay. land is in this area. In this area. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If someone wants to have a villa close to Dubai Marina or uh, then it's already uh, built. It's, it's already built. Yeah, Got yeah. it. Okay. So okay. It's a resale. It's a resale. They started from the Dubai Marina and surrounding area mm. in 2002. 2001 they started. Got it. Do not have the wording of freehold, which means it's, 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 it's not for buy and sell. Okay. It's, it's for the local citizens. Uh, that mm. land have a different title deed. Okay. Yeah. So we are always buying and selling in freehold. Freehold, yes. And which is the majority of the Dubai's freehold. Okay. Some old areas. Non freehold. Non freehold. Okay. So freehold essentially means that you own the land. 100%. 100% ownership. Dubai Science Center. This is the location. And these are villas here? Okay. Exit yeah. the roundabout. In 800 meters, turn right. But this, uh, our John and JVC are quite close to one another. Okay. Maybe seven minutes drive, if, yes, if that's. Arjan, JVC, Science Park. Okay, so we're here now in Arjan. Your destination will be on the right. It's a fairly new building, this one? No, it's eight years old. Eight years? Okay. But in good condition. Right? Okay, so these are resale units available for positive cash flow in Arjan. Okay hey guys, so again for quick moving, sorry, for ready properties, resale properties, we're gonna take a look at some options here in our John. And they are tenanted to tenants, but they're gonna essentially leave unless they're willing to pay the higher rent because the rents have increased here. So we have a few units here available. Like I said, this is right in our John. And we pull up on the list here and I'll flip the camera for you guys. This is the lobby. Okay, I'll take the elevator up. So we have units as low as 525. I believe this is what I'm looking at here. And the vents all vary. Yep. Okay. So we're going on the same floor. Okay. And you have on the inventory of the fourth floor. Okay, great. Okay. And the name of this building is yeah. Burj View. Okay. We can... Where is it? Oh, you have it right there? Yeah, right there. Yeah, Burj Khalifa View. Okay, cool. So they have a beautiful pool here. You can see that there's a view and on the last video we showed you that there's actually a Burj Khalifa view. It's a little bit foggy today, but if I zoom in, you can very faintly see the Burj Khalifa, which is amazing. This is located in Arjan, also very close to a mosque, which is nice. And there are some shops right there below. Neighborhood. Okay guys, so we're gonna take a look at a two bedroom unit here in Arjan. Uh, this is around 1,289 square feet, so just under 1,300 square feet, and this is a show apartment. So show meaning that it's furnished, and uh, they've done it up to make it look really nice. So let's have a look. I'm going to flip the camera for you guys. Here's the unit. As you can see, this is the entrance. This is the door over here coming into the entrance, and straight ahead, we can already see this is the living space. To the left, over here, this is the kitchen with an island, a big island. You have a breakfast dinette space over there and to the right over here it looks like this is your powder room so this is a two-piece communal powder room you have the tiling over here and tiling all across the wall to the ceiling really good finishes here it looks like it's a ceramic finish and okay and then just coming out here okay and then to the left here you can see that there's bedroom number one and to the left, there's bedroom number two. We'll get to those, to the bedrooms. We'll just walk around here for a little bit 
As you can see, the kitchen is a good sized kitchen. Big, big island, which is also really nice. And undermount sink. It's got the appliances here. It's got a really, really nice backsplash as well. And here's your fridge. Okay. And as you can see, they've done some upgrades here. So looks like they got some wooden finishing here along the side of the island. They have some crowd, uh, some molding. This is what we call wainscoting back in Canada. So they've done some wainscoting here all the way to the ceiling. They have some pot lights, smooth ceilings with inbuilt lighting all across. So really, really good looking apartment. I'm going to assume this is probably $500,000 Canadian. But uh, yeah, I'll ensure the pricing for you guys. We'll take a look at the outside as well. This is the balcony. Okay. And you can see they've put some fake grass finishing over here. And if you look straight ahead, this is all in our John. And looking down, you can see this is the location. And actually, if you look straight ahead, you can actually see Dubai Marina. So all the big buildings of Dubai Marina are just straight ahead. So yeah, very, very good proximity to the Dubai core. Okay, coming back in here. Okay, and now we're gonna walk a little bit and let's take a look here on the left side. All right, so this is a two bedroom, but very, very big bedrooms. When you walk in here, a lot of space, which is really nice. Uh, they've built all the closet space over here and tons of closet space. One thing with Dubai, that's what they do. They build these type of closets and they give you a lot of space. Um, a lot of developers use the same type of kind of method or concept, I guess, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you can see the tile flooring here, really good quality finishes and the marble over here, beautiful, beautiful marble finishing. You got your little sink there, you got your toilet and you got your shower area over here. Okay. And this room also has a balcony so we can open this up and take a look. The balcony size is also very good, very, very efficient. Okay, and then again, looking into the neighborhood of Arjun. $500,000 Canadian, maybe slightly a little bit less than that, but I'll get the confirmed price. And for more details, you can give us a call. Uh, we'll put the number here below on the video. And uh, for any questions, you can reach out to us. Actually, sorry guys, I forgot to show you the other bedroom. So let me just flip the camera here quickly and then we'll end the video. So uh, we came out of that bedroom and then you walk into this bedroom, the same type of concept with the closets over here. And as you can see on the ceilings, these are all pot lights. This is a fully renovated model. so. If you're looking for this type of model, you are going to pay obviously more as it's renovated. But uh, if you're willing to do that, you can. If you want to go for more of a standard finished uh, product uh, apartment, then we have options for that as well. Um, and as you can see over here, same type of tile they've used all into the ceiling with a toilet and sink over here. So they've given you uh, basically the same type of finish in this in this apartment which is nice. I mean, they've given you the consistency. This one doesn't have a balcony, so um, the other room does, but still very, very spacious, very, very nice room. This is a good room in terms of space. And as you can see, looking back into your kitchen and your main area. Okay. Okay, guys, and here's the lobby of this building beautiful beautiful lobby and you can see how peaceful it is here too it's very very serene so this is coming onto the main level uh, where we have the rental units and then walking this way thank you sir thank you and then walking this way we're going to come out to where the pool is 
So as you can see, this is the pool. Beautiful, beautiful pool. And it looks like they got a small little jacuzzi area here as well. As you can see, if you look up, it's a mid-rise. So this is one, two, three, four, five, about eight floors. This is about eight floors. See here the mosque. Okay, guys, as you can see, we just had a beautiful uh, karek chai here in Arjan at this cafeteria. Very, very nice cafeteria. And we're gonna go take a look now at Empire Residence. We're gonna look at some show apartments there in JVC. Some villas here too. Actually, my family lives here in JVC. I have um, one of my cousins that has a villa here. It's a good mix up for a townhouse. Yep. Then... Yep. Huh? All right, guys. So we're taking a look at Empire Residences. We're going to show you some show villas here. Right in JVC, we do have a few units still here from Empire. I'm gonna flip the camera and show you guys the location. We're right in the heart of JVC. And sorry, it's a little bit dark now, it's evening time, but uh, you can still, I think, get an idea of the location. See the development over there and a lot of new towers built here. And you can see over here there's some towers under construction as well. Uh, Anas? 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 Okay. This is still under construction, I think, right? The lobby? Okay, so we're here on the roof. So the pool is on the roof? This is the pool up here. Oh, very nice. This will be the gym. Oh, okay. Covered, covered gym, obviously, right? Oh, yeah. Air condition. Just want to show them. 
Okay, so you can see, wow, the view is amazing, little boy. If you want to come up and see it. Wow. So this is the pool. It's a little bit dark and they have the shower stalls, but the view is amazing. You can see all of JVC from here. There's Dubai Marina over there. Burj Khalifa? Oh yeah, Burj Khalifa you can see as well. What a view. Okay guys, so we're going to take a look at one of the show apartments here in Empire Residences. And let me flip the camera to show you guys. You can see the finishes from outside. Beautiful, beautiful building. And let's start with the flooring, amazing flooring. If you look up here, you can see very good quality finishing here. And here as well. It's like a stucco finish. Wow. So this looks like it's a one bedroom unit. You can see over here, you got your little kitchen area with your laundry. Looks like they have the built in appliances as well. This is probably your fridge. Yep, completely built in. The freezer, everything is built in, beautiful. <clears throat> you can see the cabinetry, cabinetry, sorry. This looks like your main washroom, your communal, sorry, your communal washroom, two-piece washroom. You can see the tile work here, very good. Nice sink, big mirror, and the washroom, toilet over here. Very good finishes. Here's the bedroom. Very cool lighting. Okay, to the right here you have your washroom with a sink. Look at the cabin tree. Tiling. And then you got your shower here. Here's the master bedroom. They built you a little bit of ledge there to store your stuff, makeup counter maybe. And you can mount the TV here. Here's the cabinetry over here. Okay, and you can see this is what your balcony would essentially look like. Now you can get a different view. This one is facing 
the building right across. But you can see the size of the balcony is more than adequate. You can see there's a few seats here, a little table. It's a very good sized balcony. I'm 